and welcome to the Super Potato Gyphon Pulling Guide. So anyways, the first thing to keep in mind if you're super new to this spot is it's completely different than all of the spots that we've grinded before. We don't walk up to a pack of mobs and AoE them until they die. With these mobs, some of these statues are inanimate statues and some of them are actual mobs. When you walk up to them, you'll see the exclamation point over their head. And with this spot, you have two different pullers, and the two pullers grab all of the mobs they can and pull them to one central location, and then after they're grouped up nicely, the DPS comes in and helps kill them. How to pull mobs? Let's see. The first thing to keep in mind is that when you see the exclamation point, that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to pull the mob no matter what. If you run too far away from them, they'll just turn right back to stone. So the trick with pulling, for the most part, in short, is that you want to wait long enough that the mobs have started to follow you, or you want to stand close enough. And then after that you can go to where you need to go to get the mobs pulled where you want them to be. Example here. If I just activate the mobs and then run to where the pull is supposed to be when both people bring their mobs to the same spot, I only aggro two out of the four mobs because the two guards that I aggroed first and got too far away from just turned back to stone. So the correct way to do it is more or less not being too close to the mobs, but not being too far away from them. There are four different types of mobs. There's the Decimator and the Guard. These are the two easiest ones to deal with. And then the more difficult ones to deal with are the Flemin and the Crusher. The Flemin and the Crusher are hard to deal with because they both have kind of vicinity detection and they'll start their attack sequences even if they're not that close to you. So to pull them properly, you need to keep your distance from them. And it would be easy if you only had to pull a Crusher or a Flemin, but when you're pulling a lot of other mobs also, it gets kind of tricky. And for some of the loops, you have to aggro them in a very specific order to get them pulled properly. I want to go over now what separates an okay pull from a really, really good pull. And this one, uh, I wouldn't say... Okay, it's, it's fair. It's between okay and four. Okay, now it's okay. Um, and it's not bad. It'll work for most groups, but the problem is the Flemin's outside of the pack, which means it'll be hitting all of the people who are trying to kill the mobs in the middle, which is sort of dangerous because people don't like dying to Flemin's. And it'll take longer to kill the pack because the Flemin will have to wait until after everything else is dead to die. And that could mean that your grip takes 10 seconds longer to kill just this one pack. So now I'm going to try to do a really, 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 really good pull, but probably still potato it somehow. So back dodge after the mobs attack me so they don't keep following and let the Fleming come in. So this would be an example of a really, 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 one more really good pull. Now, one more example of an okay pull versus a really, really good pull. With the okay pull first. It 
looks okay. The mobs will kind of be hit by things, but definitely not really, really good. So now to make this a really, 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 really good pull. And to make pulls uh, really, really good, you have to sort of think of yourself as a goalkeeper. You have the spot where you want the mobs to go to, and you don't want to let them pass it. So if you have the spot that you want to pull the mobs to, and you just stand sort of near it or you get too far behind it, then the mobs will end up in a line instead of a tightly bunched circle sort of thing. The decimators have an interesting property, and that is that if you are far enough away that you haven't activated them, you can use a long range skill to quick aggro them. And this only works on decimators. If you get close enough that you see the exclamation point though, then that won't work anymore. 